Check one, two, well hello! My name is El Director, and this is a really cool tutorial on how to use video within PowerPoint. So first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and go to YouTube here. And I've got this really cool video of the kids out here where I'm living. There's a second part too that maybe I need to get rid of too before I use it, so we're going to need to edit this thing as well. Alright, yeah, so real exciting, I know. Anyway, let's go ahead and up at the top here where our URL is, we're going to go ahead and select it, press Control C, or you can go right click, copy. I'm going to open up a new tab. You can go Control T, New Tab, however you need to do it. I'm using Google Chrome, so I just clicked on the New Tab button. I'm going to go to keepvid.com. I will paste the link right here. Control V to paste it. And I hit Download. Now, if something pops up asking you if you want to run it like this, accept the risk and hit Run or OK or whatever the options are. Now, down below here, yes, I said I want to do it. Down below here you have a list of the different formats that you can download. Always go with MP4. Don't worry about any of these other ones. We just want to ignore them. So I'm going to download a 1080p version of the MP4 just because I want it to be super high quality. Actually, you know what? For file size sake, we'll go with the 720. It'll still be good enough. That's downloading it down here as you can see. It's saving it to my downloads folder. So we'll go ahead and let this finish up here and it's done. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to Adobe Photoshop. Let's see which one is it? Right here. And I'm going to go File, Open. And I'm going to go find where my download is. In this case I know I can go to Libraries, Downloads. Maybe different for you. And I want to find where it is. So Leap 3 Explosions Test MP4. That's the one. Hit Open. And there's my video right there. And if I hit spacebar, I can actually play it. And it's a bit choppy because it's HD and I'm doing a screen capture, but that's okay. So we want to chop off this boring stuff here at the beginning. So I'm just going to move this little blue arrow with the red line. This is called a CTI or current time indicator. And I'm just going to go ahead and scrub till the picture starts right there. Press the scissors to make a cut. Click the first clip, delete it. And then I'm going to find the end of the shot right there. Wait for the words to appear again. Right there. And we'll cut it again. And then I don't want the rest of it, so we'll just use the small section I've got right here. Pretty cool click and delete. Simple as that. This is basic video editing. Now usually I would use a video editor such as Premiere, but in this case since you have Photoshop this will work a lot better. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Whew, plane comes streaking by. Boom! And their house blows up. I would hate to be those kids right now. Pretty terrible. But the plane looks cool. Alright. Anyway, uh, if you want to add transitions, this little window right down here that's black and white this down here allows you to set the length of your transition. In my case, I just want to go with one second. We'll get as close to one as I can. We'll just select it, hit one, perfect. And we'll just take a fade and we'll just fade it in at the beginning. So you drag down to where you want to stick the fade. It's pretty cool. Click back out of there. If I move my CTI to the beginning, hit spacebar. We can see that that fades in. Pretty cool. All right, I like that. So you've got your video edited, you've done some basic trimming, now we need to export this to bring into PowerPoint. So you go up to File, Export, Render Video. And what I found is that, is that uh, Photoshop is very good at guessing all these settings down here. So the only thing I need to change is the name and where I want to stick it. In this case, Leap 3FX Explosions, we'll call this Edited, so I know the difference. And I'm going to, for the sake of convenience, just save this to my desktop right now, but you can save it wherever you want. To do that, you go to Select Folder. 
When that's good to go, hit render. It initializes and we wait. While this is rendering, this is actually a Windows 7 computer that I've dressed up to look like a Mac just because it's fun and it screws with people, so that's pretty cool. And you'll find if I actually click on the Apple, I get a start menu. So you can see it really is Windows. All right, we're going to flip over to PowerPoint now. And which one is PowerPoint? I haven't opened it yet, so let's go and do that. Go back to my desktop. I'm going to launch PowerPoint. And I'm going to choose, I like this ion, that's kind of fun. Go with blue, because I like blue. Hit create. And this would be like where the name of my presentation is. How to import video by Chris Temple. No. L director. There we go. Cool. Bring to my new slide. And this is a slide I want to put video on. So I'm going to make this a blank slide. Go to the insert ribbon. And I've got one that says video. Yours may say movie, because I'm using Office 2013. But that's okay. Just you want to be able to import a video clip or a movie clip. And you don't want online video, you want video from your computer. And I saved mine to the desktop, so I'm going to go there. Here it is. Hit insert. And there's my video. Now, if I click play. I can preview the thing. I can use these squares to scale it up or down, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to have it do some other options. I have these extra tabs up here, and we want to, in this case, I want to play it full screen, and I want it to start playing automatically. The reason being is that if I'm using a clicker like I do, then the video won't start on its own. I can't click to start the video that only works with a mouse. So by having the video start automatically, as soon as I go to the slide, the video will play. In fact, we can see that. If we go back to our first slide, start a presentation, and I'm going to click forward. And it worked beautifully. Escape out of there. And that is how we do it. Now, if I had a second monitor hooked up, which I can emulate by pressing Windows P, and I'm going to arrow over to extend, hit enter. What I've just done is I've told the computer that I have a second monitor hooked up even though I don't. And the reason is is because now when I'm presenting, I have this presenter view. And this is what I get to look at. And my notes would be here if I had any notes for it and such. So this is pretty cool because I've got you know how long the presentation's been going, what the current time is, etc. Now when I go to the video, it's playing, but I don't get to see it play. The video only plays on the second monitor, so that's something you need to keep in mind. Don't freak out when you have a presenter view like this and your video doesn't play. We'll escape out of there. And that, friends, is how we do it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it makes sense. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. L Director out. We'll talk to you later.